by Gates. Where's Benning and Burke? Don't worry back there. We got spit up when the cross opened up. Hey, look at it. I guess the lieutenant was right. Big! Burke! Can you hear me? Yeah! We're gonna give you a counter fire! Now come in, one at a time! All right, let's go! I'll go first. Yeah, that's what I figured. Uh, that ain't Camp Shelby out there. And Vic Morrow. Guest star, Sal Menio. I told you one at a time. You lousy punk. Knock it off. He didn't see what he'd done back to the lieutenant. He pushed me. Hey, hey, look. Maybe I figured you needed a little pushing, huh? I said knock it off. Here's the plan. All right, little John, you and Burke stay here in cover. Cage, you and Kramer are on me. We're gonna try and work our way to the wagon. Kirby, you and Vinnick try to work your way down the ravine without being seen. Now wait till we open up from the wagon and try to make it across the road. Get a grenade in behind him. Vinnick, Kirby's in charge. You got it? All right, let's go.
Hey, hold it. Come on, what are we waiting for? What we're waiting for is a lieutenant case to get behind that wagon and open up. What for? It's a waste of time. Look, if we keep on going, we can get in behind them, crouch and heave a grenade. Well, that's what the lieutenant said, wasn't it? There's about half of what he said. He told us to wait here until they get up there. You know your trouble, Benny? You just don't listen to orders too good. The lieutenant told you guys to come up one at a time. You didn't do it, now you got him on your back. Well, there's something else, too. Don't wise off all the time, because wise guys don't live very long up here. Ain't like he was back home looking for a little action on Saturday night or something. Play for keeps up here. I never saw a tree till I was ten years old. Hey, they made it. Now, let's go. Now, you stay here. I'm coming with you. You can do like I tell you. All right, all right. Give me cover. Don't open up unless they spot me. Kirby, Lieutenant said get a grenade in there, didn't he? Listen, you cover me, huh? I think so. Thanks, Vinny. You're not gonna live very long doing that kind of thing. Who wants to live forever? Huh? Well, uh, what do you say? Should we join the party? Huh? Yeah, let's go.
Hey, Lieutenant, if you hadn't pulled me in back there. Burke. Vinnick. Yeah, Lieutenant. Get on your feet. I don't know what's with you two, and right now I don't care. But you said it, Vinnick. This isn't Camp Shelby. I'm going to tell you how I run this outfit. If there's any pushing around here, I do it. From now on, everything by the book. Little John Radio. Vinnick. For what you did back there, I'm putting you in for the Bronze Star. Checkmate King 6, this is Checkmate King 2, over. We're at phase line red, we got the machine gun nest. Road's clear, over. Roger, out. If it wasn't for me, you wouldn't even have been a hero. Right, Cage? I'll get some out of it, a three-day pass or something. If they gave you a medal, you'd probably hog it. Where to now, Lieutenant? Home? There's a town called Escalo, about a mile from here. The Italian thinks it's been evacuated. They want us to check it out. We should get there just after dark. Come on, let's go. Stay out of my way, hero. Wow, really bugs you, doesn't it? I'm warning you. Hey, what was all that about? Nothing. Watch out for that Burke. I don't think you can trust him. Gabby, you never know who you can trust. Look, what I'm saying is... I look what happened back there before. Don't... Don't ever count on me again. What are you talking about? Are you kidding? No, I'm not kidding.
You better pick it up. You might need it. You did that on purpose. Look, I was in the alley checking and I... Oh, give me that. Just like basic, you've been trying to make me look like a jerk ever since we got out here. Hey, look, I was in the alley checking and I heard a noise and I came in. So forget it, huh? Okay, Burke. I don't know, sir. Uh, I was checking out the house next door and I heard that shot and come over here and these two guys have a little rhubarb. I broke it up and that's about all I know. Benny? Uh, we weren't uh, doing anything, but... Uh, I was asking him. Uh, well, sir, maybe you better ask him. Well, sir, I, um, well, I came in and, uh, Burke, well, you know, Burke, he ain't got no sense of humor. And I guess, uh, I don't know, maybe I, I said the wrong thing. I want a straight answer. I'm sorry, Lieutenant, you better ask him. Nothing, sir. Well, we just had a little difference of opinion is all, and uh, I got one off by accident. There's really nothing. Nothing. It was nothing because this town is clean. If there were any crowds here, we all could have gotten killed. But, Lieutenant... I've had it with both of you. When we get back, you can expect disciplinary action. Checkmate King 6, this is Checkmate King 2. Checkmate King 6, this is Checkmate King 2, over. Checkmate King 2, this town is clean, over. Roger, we'll await further orders, over. Say again, please, over. Roger. Out. Little John, take his rifle. What is it? Forget it, Kirby. So it's out of the bag, huh, Lieutenant? Well, what is? Fennec is wanted in the States. Well, wanted for what? For murder, Kirby. Yeah. And 
knew there was something about him. Fuck. Finnick, you got any grenades? Jeff will call back with further orders in a few minutes. Take five. What's the matter with you guys? Haven't you ever seen a killer before? Yeah, sure. Well, maybe I shouldn't have killed them Germans back there, huh? Oh, no, 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 but I got it because I'm a hero. What is the studio now, Lieutenant, huh? I mean, that, that bronze star and everything. Vinick, don't make it any tougher on yourself. Check it out. Make sure it'll carry our armor. Cage, Little John, Bert, come with me. Kirby, stay here. You got a cigarette?
I'm sorry, Vinny. Yeah, so am I. But this fight here, you and Bert, what was it all about? Forget it. Oh, was you gonna kill him? What's the difference? It's the same difference as the guy back in the States. What about him? What about him? I killed him. That's what about him. Uh, just like that, you kill a guy, huh? Everything's just like that. <sighs> Look, Kirby, I'm not what you thought, so accept it, huh? Look, what do you want from me? You want me to say that I didn't do it, that it was an accident, that I, I didn't mean it? You just find yourself another boy because I did it and I meant it. And I'll tell you something else. I'd do it again if I had to. And I would have done it before if you hadn't stopped me. So forget it. Wait a minute, you must have had some reason for killing him. Sure, I had a reason. I hated his guts. Hey, look, Kirby. The guy down the block, same neighborhood. He studies, he goes to night school and he becomes an accountant. Another guy, he's, he's happy just pumping gas. Well, I was swiping hubcaps and rolling drunks when I was nine years old. Oh, but from then on, it's easy, man. Like, it's stores, warehouses, cars, the whole thing, you name it. But you always leave yourself an out. Because you figure, one day you're gonna, you're gonna go straight and you're gonna make things right. And you believe it. That's the thing, you really believe it. And one day you kill somebody and, uh, and you stop killing yourself. What did you do exactly? Did you, did you roll him or mug him or what? No, no, no. It was nothing like that. It, it, it was a fight. It, it was during a fight. But if, you, if it was in a fight, you didn't have to run off. Look, what difference does it make? Before the war, weren't you in a couple of fights, huh? Did you ever kill anybody? Kirby, it's just like you said. Looking for a little action on a Saturday night. Nobody meant any harm. And you run into a gang of guys, and uh, before you know it, you find yourself in a fist fight. Who knows what started it, but you're in it. All of a sudden, this punk, this jerk, he pulls a knife, and he's coming at me. I don't know how, but anyway, I got it away from him. Now, I'm lying on top of him. Now, I know I'm going to stick him. And he knows I'm going to stick him. In fact, all of a sudden, somebody cracks me on the head with a brick or something, I don't know. Anyway, I'm out. Next thing I know, I come to. I'm like, my, you know, my head's all cut and bleeding, and I'm lying on top of this guy. My knife is sticking in him, and, uh... And he's dead. Well, you was unconscious. If you hadn't been hit on the head, you might not even kill the guy. Look, Kirby, I meant to kill him, and I did. So forget it, huh? What's the matter, you heard? No, nah, it's nothing. Just forget it, huh? It's just there's something about it before. Come on, sit down here and let me take a look at it. How's it look? It ain't too bad, but I gotta do something to stop that bleeding. Give me a kiss. After you was dead, what'd you do then? What else? I took the knife, I threw it in the river, and I ran. And I joined the army. I just had to get out of the country. I don't know, maybe I... I was waiting for a chance to desert or something, I don't know. Yeah, it looks like I waited too long, huh? <laughs> I'll tell you something. This afternoon, I was pretty glad you did wait around.
It must be them coming back. Sorry. Hmm. I mean, you shouldn't have left Kirby with him. Little John called company, tell him the bridge is okay. Is he armed? Uh, no, sir. Well, he can't get far, Lieutenant. He's been shot in the leg. Shot? Yes, sir. Well, yeah, I had to. I mean, uh, he came at me with a bayonet, you know? Split up, we'll cover the town. Bert, you stay here. Lieutenant, wait a minute. While you were gone, he told me what happened. It didn't sound like murder to me. Well, Kirby, our job right now is just to bring him back. Lieutenant, what if he... What if we have to... Look, I'm tired of saying everything twice. Now, let's go. And I thought you were Vinny. Me too. Back at basic, we used to do that. Hunting down guys in the same uniform. Never thought it would happen here. We better keep looking. Let's go.
Benek? Come on out. Hey, I know you're in there, Benek. I heard you. Hey, Benek. Come on out now, you hear me? All right. That's the way you want to play it. You can start running now. You ain't got any choice. Oh, look, don't you get it, Benny? If I come in this alley one second sooner, you'd be dead now. I saw you there with a the knife. I was gonna cut you down, but I didn't have to. Look, you didn't kill him, Benny. If you hadn't been clobbered on the head back in the States, I'm betting you wouldn't have killed that guy either. You might have been okay stealing hubcaps. As a murderer, you just don't make it. I don't know. He may, he may be right. Maybe I couldn't have. Well, you have to convince the jury of that. It might not be easy. What is? Everything all right? Yes, sir. Everything's fine, Lieutenant. Well, let's go. Mm -hmm. 